Well, hello everyone. It's, uh, it's good to see you all. Except you see me and I don't see you. <laughs> this is a fun way of doing class. Um, oh wait, I need to turn down my monitor because I. Uh, it's good that the sound works though. That's that's pleasant. I hope you're enjoying the the pleasant background music, which should hint at what you should expect to see tonight. So, uh, do me a favor. Sound off in chat so I know who to give extra credit. <laughs> um, because I'm seeing a uh, six. We have many more people in class than that. <laughs> but that's okay. Those of you that are here, though, you know, like I said, sound off. Say hello. It's okay. And, uh, extra credit. All around. Why not? Even though this is a mandatory class and I'm taking attendance. Hmm. All right. So, can everybody hear me all right? Uh, my levels are good, so I'm assuming that's a yes. All right, let's do this. I'm going to take that away. This game is kind of intensive. So if we go here, if I do this... You should be able to see. I need to make sure my monitor. It takes like seven or eight seconds for like my monitor to. Yeah, there it is. It works. Cool. So, this is what we're doing. Um, I have decided. Like I told most of you, some of you. I told some of you in person. The rest of you, I sent an email to. Is that we are doing class this way to make up for the missed class this morning and the reason is is because you know it's uh i wanted to experiment right education is all about experimentation and i do this for my online classes and i figured why not try it for one of the traditional classes um if you guys hate it you'll tell me and i'll never do it again and it's that it's that fine if you like it and you know it's something you want you you're okay with me doing then you know i will do it again because i am a good person <laughs> who enjoys entertaining people. Uh, so, why did I choose this game? By the way, for those of you that are wondering what this is, this is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Right? Uh, the whole point is that we are Vikings. Um, as you can see, I have Viking fellows following me. Why did I choose this when talking about organized crime? Well, uh, the idea being is that, I, you know, we're talking about the psychology of organized crime. And, I mean, what was really the first criminal organization? Viking clans. <laughs> I, guess, I guess you can sort of, yeah, you can consider that. Right, so yeah, Viking clans first. That's, I said the game would be loosely related. I was actually uh, planning on downloading Mafia 3, um, but I... That's a big download, and I didn't, I didn't have the time to do that. Um, so we're playing this, and this is what I've been playing at night. So uh, you know, it's cool. I get to teach class while playing the game that I was going to play anyways. But it does, it does loosely correlate, and because we're talking about the psychology of organized crime, we're talking about the psychology of criminal uh, of criminals essentially, and then applying those principles to organized crime. You know, uh, this sort of makes sense. Because a lot of the concepts that we're going to talk about actually kind of apply to our uh, thick friend here. So again, do me a favor. Say hi in chat. All you got to do is open chat. Say hello. I'm here. It would make me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. But I think what I what we need to do is actually I need to jump in this boat and like take it somewhere. Right? Uh, take command. Yes. I want to take command. So wait, is it just going to be the two of us? To the waves. Oh no, like a, a whole like army joined us. Cool. All right. So while we go on a pleasant little boat cruise, because uh, I believe what we're going to do is we're going to raid um, a whaling village. Uh, as you can see, the, the person's going to talk about it right now. But I'm actually going to skip over that. I'm just going to speak over Sigurd. Because 
Sigurd, we get it. I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a okay. Sigurd. Sigurd, trying to talk. Sigurd. Nobody cares. What are you doing? Sigurd. Hey. Jesus, this guy's verbose. Is he going to talk the whole way? We got a thousand meters to go. You better not talk the whole way. Yeah. Okay, he's done. No. <laughs> he was stunned. But he wasn't. Oh, boy. Uh, anywho. Um, no, I don't want that. Get that away. Hey! Lushito and Camille. Andy, baby. Josh. How are you guys? I don't know why my it took a while for my chat to load, but it did. Which is very weird. I didn't like that. Um, hold on. We're going to do this. We're going to make sure. Yeah, we're live. Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. So, Trevor, you're here too. That's great. Okay, cool. Um, so, now I'm starting to see chat. I don't know why chat wasn't appearing for me, but it's appearing now, which is good. Um, so, psychology of organized crime. Now that Sigurd is done talking, that loud son of a bitch. Um, oh, we could do songs. No, I'm not going to do a song right now. We could, uh, we're not going to do the song because I want to talk and, and that's, that's going to take too long. So we talked last time that we were together, we talked about so the sociology, right, of, of organized crime and of the criminal behavior. And let's just go for a little bit of a boat ride first. We'll, we'll uh, we do this. How do I, how do I put up, there it is, open the sail. Yes, because we're on open water and we are Vikings. Um, we talked about the sociology, which talked about how kind of like, you know, society and culture plays into criminality. Um, but we're focusing just tonight on the psychology of organized crime. And we're going to focus on three aspects. We're going to focus on psychoanalytics. We're going to talk about uh, psychopathology. Um, we're then, ah, uh, four aspects. Then we're going to have a brief discussion about um, learned behavior. And then finally end the night with neurobiology and just a brief discussion on that. So, start off with psychoanalytics. Right, psychoanalytics is kind of the field of psychology that, you know, uh, one would imagine Sigmund Freud partaking in. That's where you lay down on a couch and talk about your feelings and shit. Um, psychoanalytical theory basically says that this is where I need to go. Yes, we're going to kill people as I talk. Psychoanalytical theory basically says that, you know, we're going to raid for... Urge. And we're gonna, and says that the brain, right, are aspects of person. Come on, come on, has a kind of. Oh wait. Oh, he killed him for me. That's okay. Has three aspects: the id, the ego, and the super ego. As I fight these people. Come on. Yeah. And right. Oh. That was satisfying. Why was it satisfying? Hello, Bree. Hello. Um, it was satisfying because of those three aspects that we have, right? Okay, see? They're, they're just killing them. It's great. What do we have to destroy? Find and burn the supply wagons. Where are the supply wagons? Is this a supply wagon? When talking about those three aspects, you have... I need to find the supply wagons. Let's see. Use the force. There it is. The id, the ego, and the superego. The ego is kind of... Uh, the, the reason I should go back to my original point. Why was that satisfying? Well, one of those aspects, the id, is kind of our lizard brain, right? Is this the thing? Where do I need to burn? What do I do? Oh, look at you. Hey. Hey. Stop that. Stop that. Ha. Um, the id is kind of that lizard brain that makes stuff like that satisfying, right? That's the part of our personality that just wants to, you know, eat, drink, fight, fuck, kill, all of that, right? That's, that is the Viking personality. 
However, Jesus, my guys are on fire. Or no, that was. Oh no, that's Sigurd. He's on fire, but he's okay. I'm on fire. Oh no, not good. This is not what I wanted. Stop it! Stop it! All right, hold on. Let me pause for a second. It's <laughs> gotten a little crazy. Um, the id being the super brain, or that 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 uh, aspect of the lizard brain. The yeah, the ego is kind of our conscience. Um, where's the super? Just checking my notes to making sure that I'm correct. I don't want to be lying to you guys. Ah, yes. Okay. So the super ego is the is your conscience, right? That's the one that tells you to do good things. I think he's hurt. Do I have to save him? I do. That told me to save my brother Sigurd because he was hurt. And then you have the ego, which kind of like tries to manage the two of you. That's kind of your conscious mind. Well, psychoanalytic theory says that all three of those must be in balance in order for, you know, a rational person to kind of stop lighting me on fire. I don't like that. In order for like a person to be able to operate in everyday society. Criminal behavior results when there is an imbalance between the id, the ego, and the superego. What do I need to do? Are there... There's something down here. I'm going to build it. Go there. Can I open? Open the door, please. Open the door, please. Open the door, please. See, I'm being distracted by my id right now because it's like I see something shiny and gold and I want to... Because there's an imbalance in my Viking brain. That is one of the explanations of criminal behavior for, you know, everyday criminals in modern day because um, the idea being is that early on in life, uh, trauma plays a role in... Ooh, there's a lot of people here. Well, I'm going to kill this man first, and then kill him. Ooh, he threw a shield at me. How dare you? Oh, stop lighting me on fire. I do not appreciate it. I really... Who's the bomb thrower? I don't like him. That's what psychoanalytic theory says. And Lucido, I see your uh, is psychoanalysis the study of unconscious causes. That yeah, it is. It's it's the idea that you don't you're not aware of what. Um, how do I light it on fire? I want to light it on fire. Do I just hit it? Ready? Okay. Aim. Bro. Hey, I did it. I think. Don't I'm on fire again, damn it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Victoria, you're here. Good to see you. Alright. So. Ships are coming. Oh no. We're gonna have to fight more. Oh no. Because I didn't want to do that in the first place. That's what Psychoanalytic Theory says. There's an imbalance between the id, the ego, and the superego. And because of that imbalance, you know, the id is takes over. And it's usually because there's damage to the superego. The id takes over and causes you to go about and, you know, commit criminal acts. How does that apply to organized crime? Well, again, what does the id want? The id wants to fight, fuck, kill, eat, drink, party. When... Ooh. Ooh, there's going to be a cutscene. So let's listen to the cutscene first. Hail Raventline! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorp, uncle to King Harold of the North. 
I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? Because we have been you promised this raid. My lord. Oh wow, Thank he's a know. handsome man. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Hmm. Land we have reclaimed. Would you know that and theory steel. defines well, death and, and sexual impulses as the cause of human I mean, it at the request of it sort of does. The canny wolf. With regards to the id, anyways. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good He's objectively music. a good-looking dude. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. We have come in cause. I should ask what's in it for you. Again, the id is taking control. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kjotve's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Ketway lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood hmm. feud runs deep, King Harold. We welcome your help. But I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Ketway Ah, see, so this is exposition time, I see. He betrayed a friendly peace right. and slaughtered many. The id, the goals are to, again, those pleasurable goals. Well, as we've talked about before, what is the goal of a criminal of ordinary crime? In order to get as much money as possible to engage in those pleasures. So, of course, you're going to want to uh, join up with criminal organizations if you have a psychoanalytic imbalance, because that's the best way to achieve the goals of the id. That's psychoanalytic. We will claim Kurtvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Chudve stands before us, it gives Give me, me the, the final blow. blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Now, sometimes psychoanalytic theory gets confused for psychopathic personality. I cannot fathom this game. He's either a young fool or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason. I have a good feeling this war is near its end. All right. So I think that's the end of that mission, which is great. No more cutscenes. And now we can just run around and loot while I talk. So psychopathology, right, is uh, for those of you that have taken serial killers with me, which some of you have, I believe. Um, you should know all of this, right? But psychopathology is loosely psychopaths. Right. Uh, so what is a psychopath? Well, a psychopath is defined by uh, a collection of personality traits that lend themselves to uh, poor impulse control, uh, lying, a uh, grandiose sense of self-worth. Uh, I mean, let's see, do I have a list of it? Yeah, I do. I do have a list for you. Uh, lack of empathy, impulsivity, grandiosity, callous and manipulative interpersonal reactions, a tendency to engage in socially deviant, be deviant behavior. So you may be thinking, well, that's kind of just like the id. Wow, look at all the dead people. Um, that's kind of just like the id. When I get to loot the bodies! Yeah, give me that shit. A broken shield and a broken bow, that's nonsense. Well... It's a little different, right? Whereas the id wants to pursue pleasure, the psychopathic personality doesn't necessarily want to pursue pleasure so much as it just wants to, you know, do whatever the hell it wants, right? And do it primarily just because they can. Uh, manipulation and having control over others is the name of the game. I don't see anything that I want And so, that is actually a problem for organized crime. Uh, one would think that, oh, well, criminal organizations would love psychopaths because they'll, you know, they'll do whatever they want them to. Mm, not so, right? Psychopaths are very much about, you know, doing what they want to do, regardless of what other people think of them. Um, where is... Where am I? This is not where we just raided. This is like a completely new, new place. What do I have to do? I have to go there. 
Revenge and glory await beyond the Kjotviv Cool's fortress gates. Cool. Um, so I guess going this way, I guess? Uh, uh, whatever. So. Where is it? Where do I go? Where do you want me to go? Oh no, it's up. I need to go up there. Gotcha. So the psychopath is actually fairly untrustworthy. Now, is that to say that psychopaths have never joined criminal organizations? No. Um, Whitey Bulger, uh, generally known to be a psychopath. Uh, there have been various studies of his personality, and they kind of say, yeah, he was totally a psychopath. I mean, he ran an outfit for quite some time, uh, then went on the run from the FBI, and, you know, was caught just a couple of years ago, actually. So, with regards to that, do I have to... How do I... Oh, there's a lap. So, with regards to psychopaths, not... And they also kind of lack one of the major traits that crim, or criminal organizations really desire, and that is the loyalty. Uh, psychopaths are loyal to no one but themselves. So, psychopaths, not really a good potential recruit for criminal organizations. So, id, superego, psychoanalytics, psychopathology. But those are kind of like, well, psychoanalytics is an old theory. Psychopathology doesn't result in really good recruits. So, what are we left with? Let me speak to this guy, and then I'll talk on it. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? I want to know how I got here. It's like Indeed. fast forward through time, is that it? Ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Aver may give challenge to Kyrthe at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Oh, that would be fun. Yes. Is this what you want? Kyrthe robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. Damn straight. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kurtwis should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. So if we kill the leader of the fortress, though, then... Shouldn't that kind of be it? Um, I'm going to say no, I need more time to save. I have waited years for this, but I will not risk losing it through rashness. We should wait until the time is right. We set sail when you're ready. So let me let me actually just save. <laughs> so in case I do die, I can always load back to here. There we go. See, uh, learn from me, kids. You'll you'll get it right. Anywho, so how can we seek out good recruits? Well, learned behavior is probably the theory that's going to uh, work best for us. You should all remember from intro to psychology the idea of, you know, learning theories of behavior, uh, specifically classical conditioning and operant conditioning. Um, both of those theories essentially... Uh, all right, we've already done this. There we go. Both of those theories essentially rely upon the fact that, you know, you learn behavior through a series of, you know, Learning the consequences of actions. Our clan, Hold on one second. The hidden ones have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. Ooh. The plot you came thickens. came from Miklagar to kill Kyotve yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kyotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone. But the order to which he belongs. The Templar. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham. I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Chatve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Chatve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Yes. We do it. 
All right. So you learn behavior through a series of, you know, performing an action and seeing the result. And if you get, you know, receive some sort of pain for that action, then you don't do that action ever again. Um, or at least you, you kind of, like, shy away from it. If you receive a reward, you continue to do that action because you expect to, you know, get rewarded for those behaviors. Applying that to criminality, and specifically organized crime, much what we talked about, you know, this these ideas of, like, cultural transmission back in the sociology section of the chapter. Jump, jump, the reason why... The explan it explains why the reason for that behavior is because, you know, you learn both through observation and through doing yourself that certain actions grant greater rewards. And in those neighborhoods and amongst these groups, learning that organized crime provides a greater benefit than, you know, going to school or getting a job is going to turn that behavior to criminality. Um, and now excuse me while I murder this fucker. Oh, he, he's, he's gonna fight me with his fists? I have an ax. Oh boy, what? Ah. Ow, stop it! Ooh. That didn't feel good. That's it. Come on. Come on, this is it. That's how you do it. No! That's not... Ooh. I didn't like that. Yes! Oh, okay. So I guess now he's like, well, I need my axes now. Okay, good. Oh, I dodged that. Fuck you. Not on this. Oh, okay. I could have. Ah. Come on. There we go. Ooh, I can kill him. Sure, yeah. Really hurt him. That's great. Come at me, boy. Oh, I blocked that, too. Fuck you. I got this, guys. Don't worry about it. Ooh. That don't feel good at all. Hydem's gonna die. I'm gonna kill this this dude. Come on. Oh Jesus. Come on. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, fuck me. Come on. Ah. Oh, almost. Come on. There it is. Felt 
good. <laughs> All right. And the last bit for class today, because we've been going. And I'm just playing video games at this point. <laughs> is. Ooh. Odin. He has Gungnir. Spear. That is so perfectly balanced that it will always hit whatever you throw it at. Odin's doing some work on this guy. Now that that grossness is done, um, the last bit. What's the last theory, psychologically speaking, neurobiology? Your father is dead, Gorm. Yeah, we we, we killed your dude. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Oh, we're gonna kill this dude too. Ravens, show no mercy. All right, so we're gonna uh, neurobiology, right? And this is the sense that I mean, really, how do I do I climb? So... No, no, I have to. Or is yes, the gate is destructible from inside. So guess what? Ah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Uh, where's the gate? Are we inside? We're good? I need to, I need to open this gate. Um, the... Oh, that's what I have to do, yeah. There it is. Open. Neurobiology is the sense that, you know, all of our behaviors are controlled by our brain. And when it comes to the brain, right, uh, imbalances in neurotransmitters can cause some wonky behavior, uh, including impulse control and criminality. One of those such neurotransmitters is serotonin. Serotonin is kind of like the happiness um, neurotransmitter. Right? Um, it, it controls when we're hungry, it controls when we wake up, it controls when we're, you know, horny. An imbalance in serotonin, either too much or too little, can result in all sorts of wonky behaviors, including criminality. Um, there's actually correlational evidence that um, finds that, generally speaking, when looking at... Uh, are these my guys, or... Yeah, they're my, they're guys, they're my guys. Die, there we go. When looking at um, incarcerated peoples, incarcerated persons, uh, there are more, you know, neurological imbalances than in the regular population. Ooh. Oh, I can kill this guy? There, I did it. 
Ooh. With the big X. Yeah. Satisfying. The neurological imbalances is actually a hard and fast thing that we can find, you know, that we can find wrong in a person's brain in order to determine, you know, their likelihood of criminality. In that... Oh, dopamine imbalances is another one. Um, there's various... I mean, I can go on an entire list of neurotransmitters here that uh, if imbalance would tend to show or would correlate with criminality. I'm not going to go through the whole list. You can read about it on page 39 in your book. But for our purposes, that's all the psychology when it comes to... Ooh, fuck you. When it comes to... Yeah. There we go. When it comes to criminality and especially organized crime. Um... I'll open the chat up for questions. Is there anybody uh, in the chat who has, you know, a question on anything that I didn't talk about while I continue this raid? Ooh, he throws his shield down. That's great, because that was smart. So we have to go into the church. Great. Cool. Where is he? Why? That's weird. No questions for you, Josh? That's good. Um, if there are no other questions, that's going to be... That's all I wanted to keep you for. I wanted to just finish this chapter out. Um, on psychology, and then, um, oh, he's running. Uh, and to stop, oh, in fire, I'm on fire again. And that was it. Um, on Friday, we're going to, uh, move on to the next chapter that I have slated for us, which is on canvas, so you just have to go and look for that. Um, other than that, yeah, he does. Other than that, if you guys have no other questions, you can, you know, hang out. Feel free to leave. I'm uh, just going to probably, I'm not going to turn off the stream. I'm just going to keep playing at this point because it's fun. Um, but other than that, if anybody, uh, you know, wants to hang out, wants to chat about life, watch me kill Vikings, that's that's great because that's, that's what I'm going to do. How do I get down? This way? Oh, that was badass. The battle is won, horses. Now collect your plunder. So, do I collect the th plunder? No, I speak first. Have a great night, Josh. You as well. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped and fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. It's a bruised piglet. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ria Vilke. A toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Enjoy the night's Tomorrow, victory. I will. We will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Good armor. Relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased. I will ensure you pride of place at his holding at Ulrikstadi. Tell him we will come. Battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I was going to say, I will bring you, you better let me loot. victory to father before he leaves for Harold's outing. Another time. Hmm. All right. Where's my loot? Give me that loot. I want to be fat with loot. Ooh, 
destiny. Alright, so there's... Oh, look, they're done looting, I guess. In here? Must be in here. See you, golden dot. I must collect you. Ooh, I will read that, though. Letter from Guthorn the Wise. I am Guthorn. You know who I am. Some call me the Hunter. I speak with the full authority of my nephew, King Harold. He has an interest in a strong night in Norway, and I would like to speak with you on this. I invite you to my own great hall. Or I can come to you if that is more to your liking. Guthorn. Hmm. Interesting. So Guthorn was, you know, soliciting both parties to this war. That's a cool thing. Stop. I may have to play with that for a second. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, so we'll do this. Let's see. Have a look sooner. Where's um? Come on, I should be able to see the golden ship. No. Oh. Oh, there's a big piece of gold. Looks like there's some gold in here, maybe. Oh, there's some gold in there. Is it up in there? Oh, it's probably in there. I imagine. Bree, you enjoy your night as well. Um, all right, that's 172. So that's also 172. Let's get closer to that one, I guess. We'll see. Oh yeah, that's that's up. We're not gonna go that way. First, I'm just gonna do one of these. That's a big army. Is this all mine? Are these my peoples? Oh, that's like the rune. I want the rune. This place burnt down. It did, but... Alright, where else do we gotta go? Well, I don't necessarily see anything. I loot bodies. Hmm. Guess this is just our fortress now. <laughs> like, yeah, you guys can have it. Yeah, guess so. All right, get down. Get down. Have a good night, Andy. Ooh, what's in... What are you hiding? Gotta be something in here, right? Yes, there is. Like, oh, rations are full. Oh. Just a food storehouse. What's... The, what are you... We're here. Yes. Lord. That is, well, it's not gold. It's leather and iron ore, but that's just as good as gold in this world. There's something down there. Come on. Stop getting hung up on the wall. Was full. Yeah. I see you. I see you. Of course, it's locked. Like a window to crawl in because no, it can't be just easy. I have to break down the door, maybe? Is that it? Can I just do that? No? That's not gonna work? You're not gonna let me 
Are gonna let me in? How do I get in? I don't want to enter you. I want inside. I want your gold. There's no entrance. What kind of nonsense is this? Let me in. Let me in. Do I get in? Where's the entrance? Do I have to burn it down? Oh, yes. Me? Smart. I am so smart. I am so smart. Yes, to get out. Stab it. Stab it. You're an idiot. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. I'm out. Drop down. There we go. We did it. Um. See if there's anything over here. These little buildings. More food. Upgrade my rations pack so that I can carry more rations. Let's see anything good here. Nothing really. All right, so that looks to be about it because I think that was. Yeah, this is the uh, main entrance that we fought at. What are you doing? I don't believe there's much of anything here. And now it's just an empty camp. There's some arrows and shit, but I, I am full on arrows. All right, so we're gonna climb that uh, climb that thing, climb that mountain. Let's do it. I'm in the mountain. woman I don't even know her name like I should know the main character's name but I don't I never bothered to learn it because she's just she's just you know she's a stand-in for me is what she is just how I'm supposed to see myself in this game world yes. Survey the area soon to go all the way up there that's great There's nothing else this way. Oh, well, there's something right there. Alright, so... We are gonna do this. Do that. There it is. That's right. See, that is something that's down there. It's hidden. It means it may be something good. First, we're gonna climb this. Leave its way the fuck up there. Yeah, right there. Cast about this land, my friend. I go this way. I'm the mountain. The waterfall, I guess. Luckily, this ain't no breath of the wild. You're running out of stamina halfway up. Come on. Really, it's just kind of like point up and go. It's right here. I think. Right? Yeah, it's right there. 
One more. I need to go up one more. This is where it is. The mouth of the cave. Where's my gold? There's nothing. Oh, wait. Do it. Do it. Ooh. What is the, I want to know what the Rage of Helheim is. What did I get? Is it? Is it? I just got a thing. Where's... I got a thing. Where'd it go? Rage of Helheim. Abilities. That's what it is. Abilities are learned through books of their powerful light fighting moves that can be used during the cost of adrenaline. Next. All right, improved abilities. When you find a second with that, that ability is dramatically improved. Uh, let's search for wealth and eat. Books are often heavily guarded in monasteries and military camps. Cool. So what do I do? Oh, that's cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Enter a fit of rage and slam your enemy, leaving them helpless in the face of a barrage of hits. Alternate quickly between L1 and R1 taps to avoid losing balance. Cool. I like it. Um want it to be, I guess, on X? Hold, okay, gotcha. Hold R2 with that fix. Word. That's cool. I like that. Alright, can I just jump in the water? That's the question. And that was real cool. That was cool. I wouldn't do that in real life. I'm a fucking pansy when it comes to that shit. But... Alright, where's that next? I see gold. I'm 160. Where are you at, gold? Where are you at, gold? Oh, it's that one. Yeah. That's a ways away, too. I can't even see it over the mountains. So we're going to go to this little gold one here. Going to run right back down. It's on this level. Where are you at? Getting closer. Right. What's down? Moving further away or closer? No. Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, I just... Oh, that, that hurt. That hurt a lot. <clears throat> oh, there's... A cave. It's, what do we get? There's iron ore and leather. That's it. Alright. Well, again. It's important. It's good stuff. I think... Like cloud berries. Cloud berries? Boysenberries taste like boysenberries. Snozberries taste like snozberries. Um, okay, I think. 37. No, 
artifact. Yes, I want the artifact. So it looks like I got everything else that I need. It's just the artifact. We said artifact. And this is Birthright's Battle for Northern Way. That was a clue to, to an old thing in Arukstad. Well, I guess that's where we're going. Anywho, I am going to end the stream here. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining me. It's been an hour, so uh, uh, hope to see you again sometime. Uh, you can...